this year has been pretty crazy, uh, but I know we started with an announcement of, hey, we're working on future projects. I will also want to make sure people know we are continuing to support Halo Infinite. As you see with this update, we're trying to do as much as we can, where we can, while we still have teams working on various projects here at the studio. But very excited for Fleetcom to arrive next week. New modes, new Forge updates, weapon tunings, right? We're taking our time and we're showing that we, we care. We want to make sure we're listening to the players, right? That's where all these updates come from. Uh, and I'm just excited for the future. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and I am officially back from vacation. I did not get sick or anything like that, knock on wood. I had an amazing time, and I honestly feel recharged. Now, while I was gone, there was a HCS event in Atlanta, and then we got a new operation called Fleetcom. And to be completely honest, this is a pretty substantial update, especially with where we are with Halo Infinite and what we've kind of been told and rumored and just all types of stuff that made it seem like Halo was basically donezo. But like that clip from Unishek that we showed at the beginning of the video kind of states, there's still stuff coming. Now, I am a few days late to making this video because I was traveling and whatnot, and I'm sure that there are a ton of people who have already made videos on basically everything that's come to the game, so I'm just going to touch on those very quickly, things that I think are very important, and then give my thoughts on where we're heading. So, obviously, we get a new battle pass. It's got a cool commando weapon model if you pay 500 bucks for the premium. I said 500 bucks. I meant credits, not... $500. That's dumb. Only $5. Only. You also get a weapon coating with that as well. It's pretty nice. And you have this, you know, for the next five weeks that this operation is up. And it'll no longer be available for free after that. Anyways, they also talked about two of the upcoming operations. Champions, which will be September 3rd to October 8th. And then the Halloween, which is from October 8th to November 5th. Very cool. They made some changes, a Spartan point reward that's very cool, you get them after like games now. They added VIP, finally. I'm a fan of VIP, I think it's very fun. And I've played a few games of it already and they were pretty enjoyable to me. Another game mode that's coming soon is Headhunter. So if you didn't know, in Halo Reach Headhunter, eight Spartans battle to collect each other's skulls and then they have to deposit them in a zone. Once you collect 25 skulls, you win. Also, there's like a nuke button where if you deposit 10 skulls at once, you instantly win the game. Something that I personally enjoy because I love Halo Dripfinite was the cross-core multi-use coatings. 57 armor coatings, 11 weapon coatings, and 6 vehicle coatings. Very cool. I don't know why Anomalous Material still is not completely cross-core, but at least we got uh, the pink bubblegum coating. That makes me happy. They brought back the Haunted Helmet. Now, you can either pay money for this or you can spend Spartan points credits. What? Yeah, Spartan points on it. Hooray! Now, something huge that actually came is all the Forge improvements. So now there are announcer voice lines. I think they said there's a thousand voice lines from uh, Jeff Steitzer, which is pretty cool. They also incorporated the Halo Infinite campaign music, which is also nuts. It's, it's pretty incredible what Halo Infinite's Forge is. They also did a ton of weapon rebalancing, and I'm not the person that you should come to in terms of, like, really breaking it down. I just know that the Bandit Evo is pretty awful in any casual setting now, so don't pick it up. They also buffed the Banshee, which I don't know if that was needed. There has been a lot of uh, server issues as well, so unfortunate but all in all this is uh more than i thought was gonna happen i know that there were a lot of halo youtubers and stuff that were like it's nothing's happening or they haven't even announced anything for the next operation and stuff like that so sometimes you just gotta let them cook because this is pretty impressive if you ask me i know people are gonna be like oh you're a shill and this is not this should have been here day one and stuff and hey i ain't gonna lie i agree with you i'm actually eating ice cream right now um Shout out to anybody who made it this far in the video. Make sure you put ice cream down in the comments. It's Ben and Jerry's Dirt Cake. It's delicious. But I agree. Yeah, all this stuff, it would have been great if it was there at the beginning. It's not, I don't know, 
I'm not gonna sit there and, you know, be like super upset about it at this point because it's like been three years and I would rather put my, you know, energy elsewhere. That being said, I, I the fact that they announced two more operations, stuff has to be coming. I, I pray that we get like the Falcon. I pray that we get that double barrel shotgun. I still think those are real possibilities. Magpie actually tweeted um, like uh, the graphic that was like everything that was coming uh, to Halo Infinite in the future from like season three, I think it was. And it was like, everything is finally in the game that was on the graphic and like, yeah, it took a long time, but at the same time, just keep a little, little faith that we're eventually gonna get stuff. It's just a little slow. That's gonna do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.